If y'all ever almost died at a Burger King and, <laughs> and found out you wasn't as real of a nigga as you thought you were, <laughs> just, that's just me. All right, was, I was at the counter ordering and I was on the phone with my cousin and I was like, all right, cuz, I'll see you later. Uh, there happened to be a crip standing behind me. <laughs> cuz is their word. They don't like when you say that shit. If you don't understand gang culture, it's like when you say Voldemort when you're not supposed to. <laughs> Glad we on the same page. <laughs> so he gets mad, he gets in my face, he said, I heard you say cuz, nigga, you with them east side niggas, where you from, nigga? I don't know how to deal with these situations because I went to private school. <laughs> so I went down on Trump on the nigga. I said, look, I think there's very fine people on both sides. <laughs> He ain't like that shit. <laughs> Pulls a box cutter on me in the middle of the Burger King. I don't know if you've seen a Burger King commercial lately. That shit not supposed to happen. <laughs> so I look at the lady at the register like, yo, can you defend me? <laughs> I just spent money in your establishment. And she looked me dead in my face and said, look, boo, we make 15 hour in this bitch. You better man the fuck up. I'm like, all right. It's like, what do I do at this point? I can't fight this nigga. I got a vision board at home. I can't. What the fuck do I do? So I just start thinking. So I look at him, I say, look, brother, If Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. If, if Martin Luther the King could see us right now, if he could see this right now, what would he think? He looked at me dead in my face, said, nigga, I'm Puerto Rican, I don't give a fuck about Martin Luther King. Normalized sex work. But, normalize sex work, but that means we also gotta normalize the weird niggas that pay for that shit too. <laughs> Look, we gotta stop calling these niggas weirdos and simps and pay pigs, all these awful names. What I'm trying to say is leave us alone, okay? spend my money on whatever the fuck I want to, all right? I'm a grown man. I hate that there's this whole moral stigma around sex work. People think they're better because they don't make porn for work. I wish more people did sex work. Like, uh, the niggas that owe me money. <laughs> he right there, I see him. <laughs> Call me before the show. Nah, this is gonna be a minute before I get that $50 to you. I was like, well, uh, you better make a nut video, my nigga, I need that shit. <laughs> Y'all seem freaky. I'll give y'all some tips on the OnlyFans. Uh, tip one, treat that shit like the grocery store. Your mom always taught you, don't grocery shop while you hungry. <laughs> don't be scrolling on OnlyFans while you horny, dog. I was on this shit down bad a couple weeks ago, bought the same video twice. I was like, Fuck it, I've seen reruns, let's go. <laughs> Tip two, when you put your card on OnlyFans, I need you to understand, it's automatically gonna report to your bank as fraud because them niggas at Chase believe in you. <laughs> Imagine me on the phone with the Chase rep saying like, $9.99, that's your boy. Like, that's... <laughs> so I'm on the phone with the chase rep. He's like, Mr. Abson, we need to get this charge clear. Can you verbally say out loud what you paid for? 
And I was like, OnlyFans. He's like, yeah, we know that. But to get this clear, we know that we need to know what exactly the video was called that you paid for. And I was like, uh, Chase nigga, I'm in an Uber right now. He's like, no, we need to do this. Your account's overdrafted. What is it called? I was like, all right. The video's called Pussy and Pizza, nigga. That's... I got to turn around when I say that punchline because I can't look people in the eye when I say that shit. So at this point, the chase nigga is on the phone giggling. Not laughing like y'all been doing. Giggling. Giggling is disrespectful as fuck to do to a grown man. And that wasn't even the worst part. My nasty ass Uber driver gonna turn around. Pussy and pizza, you fuck with Monica too? Oh shit! Yeah, I'm glad y'all laughing at this shit. I hate comedy. I'm... <laughs> hate the shit, wanted to be a rapper. <laughs> Settle for this bullshit, bro. <laughs> wanted to be a rapper. It's one thing that stopped me from achieving the goal of being a rap star, and uh, that's, uh, my parents still together. Nigga, I couldn't be <laughs> doing this. They, they match on Sundays, they hold hands and shit. <laughs> Fuck was I gonna rap about? Had too much privilege to be a rapper. That's why I'm so jealous of Jaden Smith. Oh my God. That light skinned nigga is living my dreams, bro. It's not fair. I hate it. It's not fair. Like, cause he has privilege too. Why does he get to rap? Now don't, you the fresh Princess Prince, bro. It's not fair. Y'all know that song Icon he has? Y'all know that song Icon? Let's be real. Slaps a little hard for a nigga with a trust fund. Let's. It's ridiculous how good he is. I'm a fan, I love him, I love Jaden. It's not fair, I get jealous, I don't like it. Because think of your favorite rapper, man. Y'all know poverty struggle makes the best rap music, right? Think of your favorite rapper. They didn't kill niggas, trap, jail for at least a weekend. <laughs> Jaden had never been to jail, he never gone through poverty struggle. Closest thing to struggle that Jaden Smith has ever endured is when he played the little nigga in Pursuit of Happiness. That was it. 